Sandra, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are returning, it's so good to see you again. And if you're new, welcome and I hope you enjoy. Remember, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and even subscribe. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. So today I'm doing my ride or die tag. I know it's a little bit late. However, in my personal defense, I am refilming this because my 18 month old son thought it would be a lovely idea to chomp into my memory card and in so doing he broke it in half and popped off one of the prongs it was not actually ingested the child is safe there were no children harmed however i lost four videos um including this one so super exciting yay i get to do it again um but that is why I'm late on putting this out. It's going to be so behind and may not even be relevant anymore, but I thought I would do it anyways. I'm going to try to go in the order that I use the products, but it may get screwed up. I don't know. So starting with a primer, my all time 100% most favorite primer I've ever, 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 ever used. And I've used a few is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer amazing spf 15 mattifying amazing love it skin perfector dr brant pours no more hands down my most favorite skin perfector leaving me airbrushed and addressing the pore situation my most favorite ride or die foundation is my dior air flash spray foundation i'm the color 300 heaven sent to me love 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 such a beautiful finish anyways enough said about that now then for my setting powder the la prairie um translucent two powder absolutely obsessed leaves me very very airbrush looking now i used to use my chanel fair translucent powder and i still love this but I think the La Prairie, I don't know if it's because it has a tiny bit, even though it's translucent, it has a tiny bit more coverage to it, but it just has this airbrush effect. It's just amazing and I love it and it makes my makeup last like all day long, which is amazing too. So amazing. I think amazing is my favorite word. I don't know. Anyways, it's good. Is good stuff. Going back just a step, if I'm talking about my favorite powder foundation, I love the Kat Von D Locket powder foundation if I'm going for that. But more often, I don't, unless I'm in a hurry. So I'll just say that. Now for regular carrying around, what powder do I carry with me to do touch ups and things with? My hands down favorite is the Armani Luminous Silk. And so this is the one I carry with me to do touch ups. So that's my favorite compact. See, so I'm already a little out of order, whatever. I'm just going with it. My most favorite cream concealer, hands down Urban Decay Naked. So far the best. My most favorite color corrector is the Master Corrector by Giorgio Armani. Now I have two colors because you use them to cover two different shades, um, reds and browns and dark circles. But this is hands down out of all the color correctors I've used, my absolute favorite. You get such great coverage without it being a thick product. Amazing. So that is that. The Cover FX Cream Concealer is the one that is my favorite for if I'm going to put it on a concealer brush and cut in like around my eyebrows and things like that. Around my lips. Ha, huh, this one. So I know that's two different concealers but I use them two different ways because I'm high maintenance sorry now then um what else blushes so blushes were very hard for me I have two favorites flower child by Becca and luminoso by Milani I love these two blushes like it's hard for me to pick one is a little pinker one is a little peacher I don't know if you can see the difference if I absolutely had to pick maybe the Milani maybe it's a close call you guys honestly it's hard to say but those are my favorites now then let's do some eye stuff no question about it my most favorite eyeliner is the tattoo liner by Kat Von D in the color trooper the only thing I would change about this is if I could make it matte 
instead of it having like a little bit of a sheen to it. That being said, there everything else about this is perfection and I've tried a ton and this one is the one I go back to all the time for doing wing, especially if I'm doing a wing. So that one was a no brainer for me. Brows were kind of a no brainer for me as well. Anastasia, the brow whiz. I do like the brush on the brow definer better, but the brow whiz for filling in is has got to be my favorite and I use two shades dark brown and ebony depending on what I'm doing um, again because I'm high maintenance so also along the brow line the Anastasia brow gel definitely the best one that I've used so far my favorite like gorilla glue for your brows so that's that now eye lashes also wasn't too difficult for me I do have a couple of favorites but if I had to pick just you know one um I would pick three <laughs> this isn't cheating I swear because this hot and naughty is waterproof and that is the only mascara that I use on my lower lash line period end of story I do not even use anything else on my lower lash line so this is my ride or die to death for my lower lash line but for the upstairs girls I use this the majority of the time and the reason there's two is because I always use them together this one isn't technically a mascara so I don't think it's cheating to say that I use this as a primer because it is not mascara it is a conditioner treatment for your eyelashes and a primer so I always always use my Dior show maximizer primer every day every single day of my life I feel like um and then the Dior show the classic Dior show I put on top of that the majority of the time there are a couple other mascaras that I do love 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 but this is ride or die and so I'm trying to stick with this now then continuing with lashes glue if I'm going to do a false lash hands down my house of lashes glue is bomb and this is the tinkerbell edition but that's what i have right now so that's what i'm showing and going along with tinkerbell these are the lashes i've been wearing a lot of and the reason is because i'm new to lashes to be honest as far as false lashes go my natural lashes are pretty decent and so this is definitely a new thing for me to be wearing false lashes here and there occasionally and sometimes they can be a little too much for me for every day they're really thick and obvious and in your face and these are thick but they're not quite as long I mean they're definitely dramatic but not quite as intense so this is like between natural and super dramatic kind of right in the middle and it's called they're called just wing it and they're limited edition house of lashes um, tinkerbell line so that's those that I have been enjoying it's hard for me I don't really have a ride or die lash because I just started wearing them so now lipsticks get a little crazy for me too because I used the same lipstick literally from the time I was 20 ish 21 for like a solid 12 13 years I used the same exact lipstick the Lancome Lux every single day every day the only lipstick I owned I probably have gone through countless to I'm 20 tubes of this I don't know a lot of this lipstick so it is a ride or die for me in terms of my most favorite stick lipstick I mean I know that this color is absolutely gorgeous I get compliments when I wear it and I still love it but for the last year I have been spreading my wings and I haven't worn it I have not worn it in a year but it's still a ride or die for me because it, it always will be it's a favorite of mine but now I've been doing liquid lips a lot and so if I'm doing my most favorite ride or die liquid lip which is incredibly difficult for me because there's probably three or four brands that I love and I get a consistent result with and I enjoy very much but I tried to narrow it down and it was really hard because to me huh, it's hard so Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks the formula is just bomb it just is it's it's so good it's so good and I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding him and whatever like all that aside I don't know him so whatever 
but this formula is amazing. This was one of my first experiments with color. So I guess that's why it's like dear to my heart as well. Um, and that is doll parts. So one of the first times that I actually went outside my box and was like, you know what? I'm gonna put some color on this face. <gasps> that's so pretty. It is the most gorgeous, perfect shade of pink. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's not too bright. It's not too light. It's a little bit mauvey, a little bit rosy. I mean, oh, I just love it. And so I, I became obsessed. I became obsessed with his product. I became obsessed with trying colors. And so that's, that's the one. Now, if I'm going to do nude, this has become my favorite nude. And it is very similar to the Luxe by Lancome, and it's the Huda Liquid Lip. Oh, super beautiful taupe. Love it. Love the formula on this as well. So I'm sorry I'm not being hardcore about one only, but I tried. On um, most, most of these I tried. For contour powders. Favorite for me, I believe, is going to be Hula. I use a couple... Eh. I don't have one that's like, oh my God, I have to have that one or I'm gonna die. But Hula is probably the one I use the most. Now, there's a caveat to that. If I'm doing my jawline or my nose, then I use Fawn by Anastasia. It's a more gray brown, it's a cooler toned brown. So it's really, really nice for creating like a more subtle shadowing effect versus Hula. It's a little bit darker. It may be hard to appreciate that, but that's the one I use for um, accentuating my cheek here. For highlighting powders, I use MAC Emphasize as my favorite illuminating powder, and my under eye setting powder, I use Anastasia Banana, and I actually kind of combine the two. So those are my two under eye illuminator and setting powder that I use every single day to bake with. I also combine two products. And again, I don't feel like this is cheating because I do put them together and make them one. I, I marry them. They love each other. I can't, I can't separate them. So I do the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder and the RCMA Original uh, Translucent No Color Powder. And I put about 25% of the banana to 75% of the RCMA and I put it in this little container that was a formula container but my children no longer drink formula so you know I gotta do what I gotta do that's what I use it's what I travel with it goes with me wherever I shall go I mean not like on a daily basis but definitely when I travel we're getting so close you guys we're almost done the Urban Decay All Nighter Oh yes, this is the bombest setting spray I've ever used. I my friend says she doesn't appreciate this effect, but I feel like it. I can feel it tighten my face, so I'm like, dang, this is like holding my shit in place, y'all. So yeah, it is amazing, and I love it. The highlighters, you guys, the struggle was real for me to pick just one. I was intense. The lipsticks were hard as well, obviously. Um, that's why I had a couple. But the highlighters were really hard. I mean, uh, I felt like y'all had me like Meryl Streep up in here, like Sophie's Choice, like my son or my daughter? My son or my daughter? I can't. I can't do it. I can't. It's just not fair. It's not fair to put this kind of pressure on a person. <laughs> I'm just trying to say this decision was hard, okay? Don't judge me. I may be showing my age because the majority of y'all probably don't even know what I'm talking about when I talk about Sophie's Choice. Anyways, <clears throat> I can't, you guys. The Ofra Beverly Hills wheel has been so good to me. She's been so good to me. The Sleek Solstice palette has been so good to me. Champagne Pop is where it all started for me. This was my first real highlighter that I actually utilized. I had a couple that I never really played with, didn't really know what to do with them. This is the one that like brought it home for me. You guys, I don't know, you can give me a thumbs down, tell me I suck, whatever you want to do, but I don't know if I can pick one. I really, I just don't think I can. Um, so do what you got to do. Do what you got to do about that. But I don't think I'm picking one highlighter. So there, that's what I have to say about that.
eyeshadows. What a joke. Eyeshadows, pick one palette. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Honestly, if I could only pick one eyeshadow palette and take it with me onto a desert island or whatever the point of this tag is, Jacqueline, <laughs> other than to stress me out to pick one thing, um, I would pick my Z palette that I made myself and that I use. Now, I don't know if that's cheating or not. I don't know if it's like, no, we want to know what one palette would you tell us to go get because, you know, that's the one that you have to have. If it's like that, I guess I quit. I, I give up. I can't do the challenge. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> no. the, I, I just can't, I can't do one palette. Like, I swear to you, if... If I were leaving today and I was going to be gone for a week, then I think I would grab the Modern Renaissance palette. Honestly, this is the one I would go to. I've been using it a lot, a lot, and I love it, and I guess this would be the one. But if I'm gone for more than a week, I'm taking the Nubian with me. I'm taking Laura Lee with me. Hell, if I go for three days, I'm taking these with me. I don't even know who I'm kidding right now. Um, yeah, and even my new Master Palette by Mario, that one's got to come with me too. So, I guess I get an F on the challenge. I don't know. Um, I did good on some stuff though, you guys. I did, I did okay on some stuff, right? <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it. That's the end of the tag. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, please. And subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell everybody. Um, I would love to have, you know, maybe hit the 15 mark one day on followers. That would be so sweet, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, do you, be you, worry about you. And I really hope to see you again soon. Love you guys. Bye. SPF. I don't know what, 15, I think. I don't know, that sounded kind of cheesy, but whatever. I know what I meant. I hope you did too. We'll see. I'm sure I'll hear about it if you didn't. The cover cur <sighs> Again, there are a couple of her, a couple of her? <laughs> no, I'm trying to get rid of Oh shit, where did that come from? I guess sprung a leak, you guys. OMG. I must have had powder on the lid because it is now everywhere. Everywhere.